Okay. It is my assertion that there exists in bodybuilding a certain fraternity of men who are convinced that a behind-the-neck press is a deadly exercise. Um, I'm not one of those men. I've been doing it safely for 14 years, and it's the bread and butter um, of my uh, shoulder-building routine, like I said in the video. Now, I'm returning to this subject because a recent friend of mine who is no longer a friend of mine anymore um, went nuts over this video for some reason, um, and his conclusion and assertion is that I should not be telling anyone to do behind-the-neck presses at all. Um, well, you see that young man in the, in the background? That's Mike Ruland. And um, there he is at 16, and later on you're going to see him at age 17. I took him under my wing, and I trained him up personally. Um, and I saw him the other day in the gym doing behind-the-neck presses, and had, we had a conversation about behind-the-neck presses. And I said, you know, Mike, have you ever had injuries? Have you ever had any problems? He said, no, no problems, no way. Now, I stressed very clearly in my video uh, on Shoulders 101 that some people have a great difficulty with this exercise due to their genetic disposition. That is my belief and from what I have gathered um, via Intel, okay? People are not structured the same. People do not evolve the same. Um, they do not evolve to the same forces and pressures in the same way. For instance, I was a swimmer um, when I was younger and a very powerful one. And, uh, and I won gold medals and I swam weekends, galas. I swam for Kenya against France. I have very good shoulders and very flexible ones uh, compared to certain individuals. And Mike Ruland there in the background is a very flexible individual as well who can do back flips and kind of do a scorpion and hang upside down and he's surprisingly flexible as well i'm not a lot of big guys are, are really stubborn and kind of they're stocky and, and stuck together but we're not like that but anyway this is mike ruland one year ago um during the visualization uh, visualization process um he does behind the neck presses all the time uh, uh for his shoulders um and he's got no problem with them and uh this is him one year later at age 17 um there he is now that's his side chest now um and his upper body um one year later and there'll be some more photos coming and this is from my advice and my careful tuition um of course his own hard work he's a very intelligent young man um he speaks english dutch french he can write in latin his father's a doctor of cardiology um, I come from a background. My father's a doctor of chemistry. Um, we're, into, we're, we're reasonably intelligent people, but to be honest, we've got decent uh, genetic distribution. I'd, I'd much rather have a decent genetic distribution than be a genius. So when it comes to bodybuilding, I have a feeling that I know what I'm talking about. Um, and if I have a good receptive individual um, who listens to me like Mike Ruland did, I can build them up very well. And uh, Mike Ruland certainly is a 101 individual. He's a Alan Eltron Barrel 101 because I trained this kid up. He listened to everything I said. But just like the greatest bodybuilders that there are, he, he used his own brain, his own intelligence, adapted certain information to himself. And this is him one year later. This is him at 17 years old. And uh, I'm very proud of him, really. So um, he listened to my advice. He does behind-the-neck presses. Um, if you have a difficulty with behind-the-neck presses, do not do them. You don't have to tear your rotator cuff. Take the bar. Um, put no weight on it. I always tell people to pyramid their weight um, and to go up very carefully um, and very slowly when they build up their weight and always stay safe in the gym. Um, so, unfortunately, I've lost a friend on YouTube who... I regarded in high esteem and he was now treating me basically like a YouTube hater and I wouldn't even make a reply to his comments were it not that I had some respect for him still but um, I no longer care really um, he gave me some advice telling me not to do behind the neck presses it later transpired that what he really is is um, one of those men of whom there are very many who stand in the gym and they look at every guy or anyone who attempts a behind the neck press and they say man they shouldn't be doing that man but in some cases it's true you see a guy and you say he shouldn't be doing that he's not doing those behind the neck presses properly you can see he's struggling you know 
but um, an intellectual bodybuilder um, who listens to his body, who knows how to listen to his body, um, who, who knows how to feed, who knows how to interact with his own feedback mechanisms intellectually, he'll know what to do. Um, he'll know whether he should be doing behind the neck presses or not. Now, this individual gave me advice regarding my injured shoulder and that I shouldn't be doing um, behind the neck presses um, so soon after surgery or something to that degree, um, to which I merely replied, don't worry. Um, he took it as some completely arrogant comment and uh, replied, okay, Arnold. Well, you know, I get the Arnold thing a lot negatively and positively. I don't really mind, but it further progressed to me being called a piece of shit and I'm the lowest piece of crap in the world and all this kind of crap. Well, um, I won't even say the individual's name. I don't think any anything the same of him. Um, he seems to me to be a decent individual, although insofar as I can see, he just seems to be a profile picture, really. But the individual behind seems fine to me, um, seems to be a decent person. I helped him out a few years ago, uh, or a year ago, maybe. Uh, he couldn't get his calves to grow, and I, I gave him some information, which is the standard information I give to people that have problems with, when they can't grow their calves. Mike's doing them at the moment. His calves are responding very nicely. Um, so... I don't know what happened. I don't really care. I haven't got time for it. Um, I'm running out of time to pump out these 101 videos. I know there's demand for the back 101, which uh, I'm starting to work on. And uh, people ask me for a nutrition 101, but um, nutrition and bodybuilding is vast. So that's going to be a difficult one to turn out. Um, there's so many different diets for so many different goals. There's so many different metabolisms. Um, check out Mike Ruland's side chest there. It's just incredible that he's done that in a year, naturally. And um, yeah, so this is, we're talking behind the neck presses here though. And look, know your body, know thyself. You know, I don't believe that I, sh I, I don't believe in this individual's assertion that I should not be telling anyone to do behind the neck presses at all. Therefore, by that rationale, I would have to lie and come along and tell you uh, some other exercise to do, which I do not do, and which I have not used for the past 14 years every week to build my shoulders naturally. So um, that's it, really. So if this individual has the guts to make a hater video about me, I'm going to really look forward to watching it because he said he's going to do this and he's going to make a video about what an arrogant, self-righteous piece of shit I am and all this kind of stuff. Um, I'm not an individual who walks around the gym trying to teach everyone how to train, how to help everyone. I don't walk up to people and say, well, you're not doing your exercise right. I wouldn't waste my time doing that. Um, Mike Ruland is an exception. I saw this kid training. I saw the heart he had. I saw the look in his eyes. I saw myself when I was a kid at the same age. And I said, hey, I'm going to help this kid out. Um, he's, he's got a champion spirit. And that's what I did. And uh, Mike Ruland is in a year, his transformation, his natural transformation is unbelievable. Um, his side chest, his, his expanded rib cage, which I taught him the secret of um, and which he keeps well as the intelligent young man that he is. Um, uh, me and him know how to pull off these nice big old-fashioned, old-school physique side chests with our little secret um, that no one, no one knows about out there. And um, yeah, so my advice is a behind-the-neck press as the ultimate uh, shoulder builder, or if you are unable to do them, just like I said in my other video, a front press, a military front press. And um, listen, bodybuilding is not for babies, it's for men. You're going to be building strength. You're going to be building muscle. Expect injuries. Expect difficulties. I have compared it before to mountain climbing. It's, a, it's incredibly difficult. Um, it's incredibly dangerous. It's not a kid's game, you know? Um, if you're a little kid, if, you're, if you want to live in a box, go in your room, shut the door, stay in there, hide in the dark. Maybe you won't get an injury, you know? But sooner or later, you have to come out the door, get some water, get something. Maybe you're going to slip. Maybe you catch some bacteria. This is life. Get with it. You know what I mean? Um, if you're going to get an injury, you're going to get an injury. If you're going to learn the hard way, you're going to learn the hard way. If you're going to tear your rotator cuff by... Uh, blasting away with a behind the neck press in the wrong way then that's life man it's like what george carlin said whatever happened to the kid who ate all the marbles in school growing up to be the one who didn't get to have any babies alan eltron barrel over and out